Once upon a time, there were a group of friends. They had spent many years working together with children in schools. They cared passionately about their town and felt that even with all the shiny new schools that had been built to help improve education, there was still much more that could be done. Because many of them lived in the town, they would meet and talk to parents and children every day. They would hear how the improvements made were still not meeting the needs of many families. Now these friends were a special group of people. Some of them were very respected teachers, others had travelled the world working and had seen some exciting ideas in schools elsewhere. They put their heads together and spent three years developing their ideas, all the time going back to parents and children to see what they thought. They suffered many setbacks, and at first the government said no to their plans, but they cared very much for their town and were determined to help the parents and children who came to them asking for help with dreams of a school that better met their needs. A school that above all else put the needs of children first. This story began with two friends, Shamim and Raja. As children they were raised in the poorest part of the town, but looking at them today you would never know that. They had overcome poverty through working hard at school and university before getting good jobs. When speaking with their friends who had children, they were told time and time again how schools weren't doing as well as they hoped. They decided to help make a change and called on other friends for support. Their ideas included building a small school where every teacher knows every child and every child knows each other. Many parents they spoke with wanted a faith school. They knew that the best faith schools had Excellent results, high standards, strong discipline, good behaviour and most of all strong values. But Shamin and Raj knew that building a faith school for children from one religion would keep people separated, something they did not think was a good thing. Their idea was to open a faith sensitive school, open and welcome to everyone. Most importantly, they designed a school that helps children to be the best they can be. They all agreed that without a good education, none of them would ever have succeeded. So they planned a school where children were helped to get into the best universities and jobs in the very best companies, and they knew the only one way this could happen was through hard work. They decided that it was important that their school be open for longer, making sure that the school and its teachers also worked harder. Other people looked and laughed at their plans. Many thought it would be too expensive. Their friend Alan, an engineer, helped plan everything out and design what the school would look like. And their friend Nick, an important accountant, did all the maths and figured out it wouldn't cost any more than any other school. Kath, Bernard and Martin were all very experienced teachers. They listened to Roger and Shannon's ideas and went about helping shape their new school. They know that traditional schools with lots of classroom stairs and corridors caused many problems for both students and teachers. They also knew that building a school that looked very pretty didn't always work when it came to teaching. They sat down with Alan, listened to parents and children, and this is what they designed. A school where every child has a desk, a locker and a place they can call their own. Learning studios rather than classrooms. Studios meant that entire year group could learn in the same space for most lessons. They decided it was easier for a few teachers to move between classrooms than 300 students between lessons. Each class has specialists, teachers that stay with the same group of students all day. They help with learning, working alongside the subject teacher. A timetable that makes sense, where the most important lessons are together in the morning, a time when students are fresh and an extended curriculum that teaches skills necessary to help get a job in the future. This isn't delivered by a teacher, but by specialists working in the business and industry. Dr V and Nim, who both worked in colleges and universities, thought it was important to change the school calendar. Instead of three terms, their school has five. This means holidays are better spread out, both teachers and students remaining fresh. Don't worry, students still get the same number of holidays. Finally, and importantly, they have a longer school day finishing at 5pm Monday to Thursday, but also finishing early on Friday. The extra learning time is to help students experience the full range of lessons that will help them go to the best universities and get the best jobs. Every parent wants the best for their children. Collective Spirit is an educational journey designed to meet the individual needs of every child.
so that regardless of their background, they can fulfil their potential and realise their dreams. This is our school.